too often now there's a rogue noodle in here, but oh well. Get an early breakfast. Ooh, switcheroo. Guys, it's on the ball this morning. Here you go, guys. G'day Brenda. Something a little bit different for breakfast today. We've gone some yogurt and oats. Check out the view from up here. Nah, just kidding. Ahoy folks, and welcome to another installment of the adventures of Jake and Trishi. Today we're kicking off from the Gutha Lungra Roadhouse, or mobile roadhouse here, and we're about to get back on the road. Here's a little view of the rest stop. Just had a quick stop off at a little town called Home Hill, just to use the public showers here. Where are we, Trish? Air. Yeah. Need that tape, so. Something hasn't had a great time here. Today, at the moment anyway, I'm throwing a six inch bomber lure. It is a heavy duty long A. Don't see that every day. Ah, another one. You don't see that every day either. Oh, 
All right, we're back to the old four inch paddle tail plastic. We didn't catch anything today fishing at the Cromarty Creek boat ramp, so we've pulled off somewhere relatively close just in town here. We're going to cook up some food. We're back at the boat ramp. Am I going to have another go at catching a barramundi? Hopefully, I can uh, catch something to show you. But honestly, that's probably not going to happen and you'll probably just watch me make a bunch of casts. Let's chuck this on. I really like the look of that snag over there, that uh, dead tree sticking out of the ground, but I don't want to go and walk on the bank. I'm just too scared of the old crocs. Oh, I like it up here. Feel a bit safer up on this big concrete block. All right, cast one. Here we go again. The thing that gets me with this is I'll make a hundred casts and each cast is just as exciting as the last, even though I'm not catching anything because you just know that any cast it could happen and when it does happen it's just that exciting. I wonder if I can get to that snag from here. Probably not but nah. I'll have another go. Having a flickery do with this lure over here. Trisha's just hanging out in the troopy over there. I'm climbing back on my concrete safety box here. up a little bit we'll cover a bit more ground oh yes I just saw some movement over there down there check out the, uh, the flapping of the wings can you see that I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but yeah in there there's a big ray just cruising around not doing too good with this so we're gonna swap back over to a soft plastic might just back up from the edge while I muck around with this bit going on on top of the water over here so I'm gonna head over and have a cast where I saw some action ah that's better all right we're gonna go back to the car and get a couple of those paddle tail plastics all right Switcheroo performed. Let's see how this does for us. What we want to hear out there is something like this. That's what we want. That is the noise that we're after. I'm gonna have another go around this little submerged tree. I don't know, I just like the look of that. Mozzies here are next level. The mozzies here are absolutely pumping me. I've only got the shorts and thongs on. Probably should have chucked something a bit longer on or some air guard or similar. But we will persist. 
trying to outrun the mozzies here. Bit of bubble action going on here, we'll just drop a lure on that. Oop, yep, scared some bait fish out of the way. This mosquito situation has got to be like top five worst mosquito situations I've been in. Oh, as uncomfortable as it is, I just can't make myself leave that prime last light time. How do these things just come out right on last light? Like where do they hide all day? Imagine if we caught a barra though. Ooh. Quick cast where the old fish bones are. That's got to be a good sign. There's still a bit of light left for the day and it's pretty rare that I'll call a fishing session early unless I've got somewhere I really have to be, which at the moment I don't. But that was the number one worst mosquito storm I've ever seen. I just got like fully engulfed by this pack of mosquitoes. It was like 50. I run back to the car, they followed me and now we're both in here just trying to get rid of them. Serious mosquitoes and no fish. That's it for today, see ya.